Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette, and it is Thursday. We are still in Psalm 119, and we're looking at verse 65. Join me this morning, and let's start reading. Verse 65, you have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. <coughs> Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in your law. It's good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of coins of gold and silver. Uh, verse 65, of course, we start off, you've dealt well with your servant. You've done it according to your word. See, here's one thing we can count on, that the Lord will always do what he promises. His word is always uh, constantly true and faithful. So uh, he deals with us according to his word. You and I can count on that. Open the book, what he promises, he will do. No questions, no maybes, all realities. Throughout this, he's saying, teach me things. Teach me good judgment and knowledge. Uh, teach me statutes. Um, he wants to learn the statutes. So I want to keep your precepts. The other side of that was, though, um, before I was afflicted in verse 67, uh, verse 71, it was good for me that I had been afflicted. Listen, when you live outside of the will of God, you run into a lot of situations. When you live outside the statutes, you run into things that maybe aren't going to be so good. They're going to be an affliction to you. They're going to be painful for you to deal with. And it would be nice, wouldn't it be nice, if we just learned by reading and applied God's Word rather than learn from experience where we realized that we were way out of bounds and then had to apply God's Word to get back into bounds. We went out of bounds, we we mess up, we blow it really big, and then we've got to do all we can to get back into bounds and back into God's uh, umbrella of grace and mercy, um, his umbrella of those statutes and things that we should have been following to begin with. It's too bad that so often we have to experience, we have to learn through negative experiences rather than learn through just reading the Word and keeping it. You and I need to delight in the, the Word of God. Delight in it every day. I look at this, verse 69, the proud have forged to lie against me. I'll keep your precepts. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in your law. Lord, they're just filled with junk, things that don't matter, things that don't improve, things that, don't, that will affect their life negatively. Verse 72, but the law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of coins of silver and gold. How important is it for you to read the Word? The whole reason I started Take 5 with Pastor Love uh, wasn't to give me another avenue so I could tell people all the wonderful things I know, which might be one or two, but it was to help people build consistency in their Bible reading and in their daily devotion time. Rather than be a hit and miss people once a week or a couple of times a week, I'll open the Bible. I wanted people to develop consistency. And I want you to open the Bible with me every, you know, every day, five days a week. So that you can look at it and it becomes something that you, you it's a habit. It's something you've created. It becomes something you learn to delight in. Listen, the Word of God holds the key to every facet of your life. If you will simply look into it 
and search it out. Apply his word and you will see that the Lord is truly good and his mercy endures forever. Thanks for joining me today. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.